So we've had screenshot options available for quite some time now, and let's go over those first and then kind of get into the newer stuff. Uh, the first one that I want to look at is Command Shift 3, which is of course taking a picture of the entire desktop. You can see a new feature already kind of revealing itself down here on the bottom right. That is the uh, quick look kind of thumbnail. Uh, we'll get into what that can do a little later. All right, so after the Command Shift 3, we have the Command Shift 4. Uh, for Command Shift 4, you get a little crosshair to take a specific selection of the screen. Okay. Now, the variation of the Command Shift 4 is, once again, Command Shift 4, and then you just hit the space bar. Okay, once you hit the space bar, it'll let you take a picture of everything in a window. So it'll let you select a window to take a picture of. Instead of you having to drag, you can just hover over a specific place and it'll take a picture for you. So down here, I can take a picture of my dock. Cool, uh, just for argument's sake, let's open up notes. Uh, I've got a note in here, let's get rid of that. And let's say I just wanna take a picture of my notes window. One more time, Command Shift 4, space bar, and then I get a little camera, that'll do that. Cool, all pretty straightforward. Now the new feature that Apple announced is uh, the HUD, and that is activated by pressing Command Shift 5. And with the HUD, you get all the same features you, that we just discussed, uh, which is capture the entire screen, capture a selected window, and capture a selected portion. The new features are record the entire screen and record the selected portion. Prior to this, if you wanted to record something on a Mac, you would have to either, one, use QuickTime Player, or two, use uh, a third-party app. And then on the options section here, you have your uh, ability to change where the document, where the screenshot is actually being saved to. So just for uh, fun, let's save this video that I'm about to take to my documents folder instead of the desktop. And let's take a look here. So uh, let's go to Wikipedia and let's go to some arts. Mona Lisa, of course, one of the most famous paintings in the world. That's actually a pretty high resolution picture there. Wow. That looks pretty cool. All right. So I pretty much did what I want here. Let's go ahead and stop this recording. All right. And we'll close Safari. Let's go into the documents folder. And there it is. Now, instead of double clicking and opening opening this with uh, QuickTime, I'm just gonna hit the space bar one time to get a quick look at it. And one of the new features also included in uh, Mojave is the ability to trim. So if you go up to the top right here, you get yellow handlebars that appear. So now I can actually trim just to the portion of the video that I want. And let's hit done. All right now it's gonna ask, hey, there's a file already that exists like this. Do you want a new clip or do you want to replace? I know that I don't need that old one. I'm just gonna replace. All right, looks good. And let's close this out. And there it is, our brand new recording trimmed. So that's a pretty awesome feature. Let's get rid of this because I won't need it anymore. All right, that's cool. So let's see what else we can do with the new screenshot features. Let's go back to Safari. Let's go into Wikipedia. English. And let's see what we got here. How about today's featured picture? Let's take a picture of that. So I'm gonna do Command Shift 4 so I can get the selected area here. And boom, just like that, we're done. Now, instead of letting this disappear, I'm gonna click on this once, and I have the option to edit directly from here. Uh, realizing I don't want any of this text, I can go ahead and crop directly from this quick look window. I don't have to open up preview, I don't have to open up any kind of editing apps, I can just crop a picture right from here, I can sign it if it's like a PDF or something, I can, uh, you know, rotate, flip the image, you have a lot of power right from the preview window, if, uh, right from the quick look window. If you need to do more powerful stuff, then you can obviously go into preview, you know, uh, adjust the colors and that kind of stuff. 
Let's hit save. All right, and I believe it should be in my documents folder. That was the place where I chose to save it last time. And yep, there it is, cropped and saved. Now here's another cool little feature that you can do with that thumbnail there on the bottom. So let's take another screenshot of something about the Slovenian Democratic Party. No idea, but I like their logo. Let's take a screenshot of that. Command Shift 4. Boom. Now instead of double clicking or doing anything with it, I'm just gonna click and drag right into my notes. Simple as that. A pretty powerful tool. Really great to see what they've done with it. Uh, it's as of the recording of this video, the uh, screenshot feature is you know still in beta, and the entire uh, operating system you know is in, is in the first beta that was just released. So some of this stuff may change, shortcuts might change, and that kind of stuff. But for the majority of it, I, I think they're thinking they're going to keep it the same because they've done a really great job with it. One thing that I would like to see is the ability to uh, rename the screenshots uh, after you've taken them. Uh, also, a great improvement uh, would be to have video, uh, audio in the video recordings, because currently it just records the video and there isn't any audio. So once again, this is a beta, it might improve and they might add that kind of stuff into, you know, further down the line prior to release, which is going to be uh, fall 2018. But so far, really impressed, really like what they've done. I love the dark mode, uh, you know, that's kind of getting... Uh, uh, out of the whole screenshot uh, kind of discussion, but uh, overall I think Mojave looks like a promising release. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time.